Like in Jude and 32, um, this video is just basically to introduce the person behind the video for a um, short piece. Um, I'm currently doing a degree in health and social care with the Open University and I'm on a break until February next year, 2013. Hopefully um, I'll graduate next year in October, uh, provided that my grades are good enough for me to go on to do a postgraduate diploma in physician assistant studies. Uh, physician assistant started off in America. Basically, it kind of takes a load of doctors. Um, so, for example, if you work in A and E, which is the American School Emergency Room, you basically, if it's if it's some sort of major incident, the doctors can kind of focus on the major incident. Um, and if they don't need your help with a major incident, you can go off and deal with the minor injuries, so like broken arm, split lip, yeah, that sort of thing. Um, and so I'm hoping that once I've actually got my grade, um, I can uh, spend the next few years basically building up my energy levels because I've got chronic fatigue syndrome, better known as ME, which I basically got from a an accident at work and that that gave me an infection which led to the chronic fatigue or ME. Um and what else? Basically I I've also got on top of the chronic fatigue, um I already had migraines, allergies in fact, the allergies came afterwards. Uh, I had them in childhood and they disappeared and they came back again. Polycystic ovary syndrome, dyslexia, migraine, sorry, I have to mention <laughs> more than once. Um, I've got memory problems with the chronic fatigue. Um, and the combination of the chronic fatigue, the inactivity that the chronic fatigue causes, and the weight gain that the polycystic ovary causes means that my weight gain is more pronounced than most people's, hence the, hence the chin. Um, and I'm a chocolate I love animals, especially horses and dogs. If I had enough money, time, and energy, I would have a house on the edge of the countryside in a little village called Bart Green, just outside Birmingham in the UK where I would keep horses and dogs um, and share my head with some lovely people. Um, I love people as well. YouTube has been wonderful for me. Not being able to go out as much as I normally would since I got the chronic fatigue. I love watching YouTube videos. That's one thing that really keeps me going. I've kind of got into like some people on there, um, families with a young lady with bipolar disorder, uh, various other things. Um, I had mental health issues myself for a while, um, depression and anxiety, severe depression and anxiety, which kind of also caused food anxiety, which is different from a, a anorexia and bulimia because People with anorexia and bulimia are concerned about their body and kind of how they look and like they think they look fat, they're desperately trying to lose weight, etc, etc. The food anxiety was related to phobias that I had relating to, I had problems swallowing uh, for a while when I was a teenager because of a chest infection. And also, I've had a phobia of vomiting for as long as I can remember. And um, the nausea from the depression anxiety, when I tried to kind of make myself eat, even though I didn't feel like it, just kind of fueled the food anxiety even further. Um, and I ended up in great difficulty with that. Which equally fed back onto the depression anxiety. And, um, uh, so yeah, um, so I've had that's kind of where my kind of medical knowledge comes from. Um, that and the fact that I also work in health and social care, um, 
with, I worked for a while at the Royal Orthopaedic Hospital in Birmingham as a physiotherapy assistant. I spent some time working as a midwifery assistant at Birmingham Women's Hospital in the UK. Um, I've also worked at Birmingham Children's Hospital in the neurophysiology department. And so that kind of fed my interest in neurology um, as well, like brain injury and nerve damage and stuff like that. Um, and so that's why when I drop, when I hopefully complete my physician assistant studies, I'd quite like to go into neuropsychiatry because then you kind of get to help people with mental health issues, but then you also kind of get the neurology side of things with brain injury and stuff like that, which absolutely fascinates me. Um, what else? Um, I also worked as a support worker um, with adults with severe learning disabilities, um, and that included autism, um, epilepsy, um, that was partly related to the autism, they're kind of intertwined. Um, there's a lady who we worked with who wasn't really clear what her difficulty was, but she had a lot of problems which affected her day-to-day -day life. There was a gentleman with Down syndrome that was there, um, and he was lovely. I just loved working there, and it was a shame that my boss wasn't very pleasant to be around because it would have made it just a perfect job. <laughs> um, but I mean, the, f the people that I look like that I helped to look after there was so lovely. It kind of took away from the difficulty that I had with the boss there, and kind of distracted me from the fact that the pay was rubbish. Um, excuse me. Um, and yeah, it was a lovely job. Um, and it's a shame that I didn't get to stay, but once I got the infection, I couldn't work there anymore. You'll probably notice my odd facial expressions. I have Botox therapy for my migraines, and I put injections across here. Um, and my facial expressions kind of are affected, so I can't do facial expressions like normal people would. It's like that's as high it goes. No, which is higher than normal because the Botox is running and I need to get more, but no, it's still not back to normal yet. Um, and uh, I've been a first aider for over 20 years as well, so that's another place where my knowledge comes from. Uh, so that's kind of where I get my knowledge from, from my uh, videos. And also I've done quite a bit of research on stuff on the internet as well, especially like unusual illnesses. Um, I like watching Mystery Diagnosis, I absolutely love that program. Uh, I get to watch it on YouTube. Um, so if anybody's got quite any unusual illnesses, um, please let me know. Uh, maybe we can learn from each other. Um, so yeah, I'm always up for learning something new. That's one of the things that I get a real kick out of. Um, I'm also writing a book on benefit, uh, which will... Uh, I'm hoping to do a video on in the, in the near future. I'm hoping that I'll get quite a few of my videos up before Christmas and certainly before the new year. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and I'll speak to you again soon.